Com slash festival. This movie is excellent on every level possible. This is a beautiful movie with great performances in it. Images from this film stay in my mind. I think it's just almost like a perfect movie. It is definitely an essential. To Kill a Mockingbird, 1962. This is the film for which Gregory Peck should have won an Academy Award, and he did. I love that this movie was shot in black and white. To Kill a Mockingbird is an example of a really great book being turned into a great motion picture. And a great example of a cast where every single one of them shines. There's been some high talk around town to the effect that I shouldn't do much about defending this man. If you shouldn't be defending him, then why are you doing it? For a number of reasons. The main one is that if I didn't, I couldn't hold my head up in town. To Kill a Mockingbird. Yes. One of everybody's favorite films, I yes. think, and for so many reasons. The way that Henry Bumstead, as the art director, yeah. recreated a little Alabama town yeah. in the uh -huh. 30s yeah. on a soundstage just shows the genius of what Hollywood could do. Yeah. Because you'd swear it was a documentary done in a real town. But you know, it, it, uh, To Kill a Mockingbird has that degree of excellence in every Everything. single category yeah. of it. Um, it's one of those movies that if people you know, hear, oh, that's what's coming up, they'll go, oh, well, I've seen it a million times. But the minute you see one frame of it, you can't turn away. Mm -hmm. It catches you every time. Right. It's a beautifully made movie in an, a wonderful, heartbreaking, tender story. And when you look at the era it was made in, it was right in the heart of the civil rights movement. Yes. And here we are making a bold movie for that right. time because we're taking a look at this the inhumanity mm -hmm. towards the black character in the movie and wonderfully played this is this is also one of those movies that yes the lead actor uh, mr. Gregory Peck is mind-boggling but it is the supporting actors that hold up this movie mm -hmm. as well Kids, Mary Battle. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, and a little fellow named Robert Duvall. A little fellow named yes. Robert Duvall. And Brock Peters, who gives this exquisite performance as the black man who's on trial. Did you harm her in any way? I did not. It's this great cast yeah. of people, a wonderfully written. Screenplay. And directed. And beautifully directed. Yeah. And photographed in black and white. Yes. Which, yes. which would have been different in color. It's the blacks and whites and grays and, um, yeah, it, it really is important. And, I, again, I, I, I mean, I do want to say that it was Robert Mulligan who directed it, who was a wonderful gentleman. And, and you worked with I did work with him, a wonderful director. And, um, and it caught a moment in time just beautifully. Mm -hmm. I have to say one thing about Gregory Peck in this movie. He's so good in it. And if he ever won an Academy Award for a performance, mm -hmm. I think this is the one he should have won for. A lot of people uh, say, well, you know, he's the shoe in. But this was also the year that, that Peter O'Toole made Lawrence of Arabia. So you say the competition was quite, quite. astounding at you that know, point. Um, Marty Ritt, who is a wonderful director I worked with several times, an, an exquisite actress director, um, he said that actors have something called a vein of gold. And it is what every actor comes in with. Some actors, their vein of gold is wider than others. And, you, and if you have a craft, you learn how to change it and pervert it and, and, and kind of manipulate it. But it is that one or a couple of key ingredients that you just are as a person, you walk in the door with. If you didn't say a word, you could somebody across from you would go, well, that is a intelligent person or a something. And Gregory, Pe Gregory Peck in this role landed his vein of gold, where he got a screenplay that was where he lived, but it was also beautifully written and was a very complicated um, character that he has enough skill to to portray, and it was his vein of gold. At the right time in his life. At the right time in his life. Yeah. Well, let's have a look at it. 
Here it is, this week's essential film with Gregory Peck giving a performance that brought him an Academy Award. In 1962, To Kill a Mockingbird. <laughs> 